Hey everyone. You know, I haven't done a Facebook live in so long. Hey guys, we'll give you guys a second to log on. Give you guys a second to log on. So, I just want to, hey, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? It's Saturday, Saturday. It is Saturday and I am feeling wonderful, wonderful. Hey guys, good morning, good morning. Yo, I have not been on live stream. Your girl been kind of busy and booked, okay? Kind of busy. So it's beautiful here in Cali. And I just got a little getaway courtesy of Toposana. You guys can't see the ocean. There it is, it's coming clear. Isn't it gorgeous here today? Isn't that gorgeous, darling? Gorgeous. Thanks, Renita. Happy birthday to all my Scorpios, by the way. So here's what I want to talk about. Here's what I want to talk about. First of all, can we just say hello to all of the roses that Topazna <coughs> insists on getting me? Okay, let me move around so the lighting is correct. Um, I want to talk with you guys for a second. Pour a little more bubbles, a little more rosé, because it's Saturday, and this is what we have for breakfast, okay? This is what we're having for breakfast today. I'm super excited about the three-day challenge that we're about to do. Scorpio season, right? Hey, Scorpios, what's up? What's up, Scorpios? So I just want to, let me see if I can come in here and actually have an actual conversation. So here's what we want to talk about today. Here's what we want to talk about today. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. Okay, why do I have on one earring, though? I know why, because I was under the dryer, and it was burning. And so I didn't get my other earring. So here's what I want to talk about today. This whole conversation about it being your time, right? And so... While I do believe there are moments where we catch momentum and um, you just have this, what looks like you have this thing where you see somebody popping off, right? You see them like, oh my God, it seems like everything's great happening for them. And for us, it looks like, you know, because we're, we're, we're on the outside looking in. And so we see all of this amazing stuff happening. The seat is hot. We see all of this amazing stuff happening and we're just like, it's their time. But here's the deal. Rightfully so, it's their time. Because in from my experience, the things that have happened really cool and when I look up in my life and I go, even this morning I said something. I can't remember what it was, but I just remember catching myself because I was like, I was like kind of shocked at it. And then I'm like, you know what? It's time for us to stop being shocked at receiving what we asked for. Because when it looks like it's someone's time, in all reality, that person has been preparing. That person has been taking steps of massive action. That person has been, um, they, they set the vision, they had a, the, you know, they said, this is what I want. They declared it, right? And then so they spend all their time doing the things that they think were aligned to, to um, where they think, where they wanna go. And so here's the deal. Most people stop because you feel like, you know, you don't want to look too crazy or you're not really sure what you should be doing or there's all this stuff that we have in our minds. When in reality, every move that you make, if you set the vision and you start taking moves that you think are, are headed in that direction of that vision, you may even take the wrong move. The wrong move is the right move because there's a lesson in that that you needed. So the time that we see people having that like, so just take Beyonce for example. When Beyonce really started popping off, people that know Beyonce probably were like, it's just her season. Somebody, I don't know about you guys, but when I grew up, they would always say like, you have these seasons. And it's like, no, it's actually what she's freaking worked for. She rehearsed all the things that we didn't see, all the nights she stayed up that we didn't see, all of the stuff that happens that we don't see that goes, that, that was in alignment with where they were going. So the time and the season was created in my opinion. And so when I think about the things that I've actually been able to do, the really cool stuff that's happened in my life, 
I'm here to tell you guys that it was all because of these other little steps that I took that other people didn't see. Steps that I took that I didn't even, you know, some steps were wrong. Some steps were wrong as hell, but they were necessary because there was a lesson that I hadn't gotten yet. So I'm telling you guys that you can create your time. Now, here's what I'm excited about. Here's what I'm excited about. Me and my girl, Regan Ann Hillier. If you don't know who she is, check her out. She's a freaking beast. She's amazing. She's a, a mentor, a friend, someone that I look up to. We've, we've collabed because she and I were just actually, we were having champagne. We were having champagne. I am a champagne girl, honey. I, we were having champagne in Dallas. Just so happened to be in Dallas at the same time. And... Um, we were just talking. We were having a genuine girl crush conversation like, oh, you do this. Oh, I do this. Oh, well, you're a musician. Well, so am I and blah, blah, blah. And so we just had this natural girl crush moment, right? And so then we were just talking about our art and we are both entrepreneurs. And so um, we were like, man, we've been able to not be the starving artist, right? And so because we both, that's not fun. How many people have something creative and cool that they want to do? And, you know, you just can't figure out how to monetize it. And so we really got to talking about the mindset and how many artists we run into on a daily basis. And it just so happened that I had just ran into a lady who's an artist. And it's so funny because I looked at her and I was like, what else? She told me what she did for a living. And I'm like, what else do you do? And she was like, well, really, I'm a photographer. I'm like, okay, we'll do that. You know, like, well, why didn't you tell me about that? Because at the time, I just so happened to be looking for some support. And so she was like, she just got excited. And she was like, I should be doing that. Because she was so busy focusing on her bills and her environment and what she needed, you know, just the everyday life stuff, that she was neglecting her art as an artist. Listen, art is whatever you create. You may create breakthroughs for people through your speaking, through your singing, through your writing. You may um, be able to give people a sense of relief and peace because you are the best. You have a technique to clean houses that nobody else has. Let me tell you something. I tell people all the time, there's an art to everything. There's, look at this. Look at my nails. That's crazy art from this. I drive an hour just to get my nails done, and I pay $200 just to get these nails because when I go to, this lady is amazing, and it lasts for so long, and it's so creative. I can show her any picture. That's an art. It's an art to do all of the, everything is art. The doors, the person who created this door is an artist. They have to see something in their mind. It starts with your vision, okay? Then it starts with your commitment. Then it starts with your declaration. Like once you say, committee you got to declare it, and then you've got to take massive action right and so here's what Regan and I decided to do we decided to put together our processes um, and and what's fun is that the conversation is so familiar but I feel like we made it really bite-sized really really tangible I feel like we made we gave you real life examples I feel like we created something really really cool because it's, it's not just about visualization right? Um, it's all of it. You need, you need to visualize. You need to have vision. You need to have goals. You need to be able to push past your limitations, the fears and the thoughts, the things that hold you back. And we all have them. I have them still. You have them at every level you go to, right? But when we were creating, I was like, man, this is something that I've created that I'm super, super proud of. Because I remember when I first started hearing people talk about vision. I remember when I first started hearing people talk about um, just all that stuff. It seemed like it was magic. I, didn't, I couldn't make it tangible. Right. And so what she and I um, decided to do was just kind of put our little our little funk on it. Right. And so I'm super excited because on um, how many times am I going to say super excited? Because I'm freaking super excited. Um, <laughs> I cannot wait to our uh, this Monday. We have our three day challenge coming up and um, we created a group so that everybody can get in and get all the information. So it's a Facebook group. I'm going to actually put the group here in the comments. And if you're already in, welcome, welcome, welcome. But I'm going to put the group here in the comments um, so that you guys can have that. The invisible world, the part that we don't see. Come on now. Brandy says, yes, yes. Hey, guys. Um, Dr. Gretchen, hey. Cynthia says, that's true. Vision, commitment, declaration. Yes, and the declaration is important because a lot of times we have a vision and stuff and then we, you know, be willing to look like the unicorn you've got to be willing to look to sound crazy people tell me all the time Keisha you do too much and I just laugh because I'm gonna laugh and do too much all the way to Bank of America okay that's what I'm going to do right and and everybody says it's, it's too this it's too loud it's too this it's too who cares and I was just watching an interview with um Kris Jenner if you know me you know I love the Kardashians and I'm and I, what I love about them is their business 
I, I follow them for the uh, probably the opposite of what most people follow them for. I follow, I watch business. I'm looking at their moves. And even just from looking from the outside, there's so much you can learn from Kim, from Chris, from Kylie, from, from all of them, Chloe. And so I was watching Chris Jenner interview and she said, um, she was just talking about um, Kendall. And she was saying that Kendall wanted to be a model when she was like 16, 15. And she's like, I held the vision for her. She said, I want, I've always told my kids to do whatever they're passionate about. And so she held the vision for her and they started taking the steps that they thought were aligned with her getting into the model industry. Because what I love about Kris Jenner that most people wouldn't know is that Kris Jenner started from the bottom up. Yeah, she married a rich man. He went on, she married Bruce. Bruce wasn't like, it wasn't the same pocketbook. And that was her quote. Her quote was, when I married Bruce, it wasn't the same pocketbook as Robert Kardashian. So she had to start over. She went from dating this super, super wealthy guy with unlimited money to dating Bruce Jenner. Bruce Jenner was famous, but he didn't he, the, man, the money management wasn't there. So she had to start from scratch and figure out how to monetize her passions and her goal, her thing that she says in every interview, y'all got to start stalking people for the right reasons, not for they Bentley, but for their business, okay? So she said, she's like, you know, um, I got to figure this thing out. Because I love Bruce and all, but we got to get this money right. Because I'm not going to change my kids' level of living. She was like, I don't want to let my kids down. I don't want to fail. She's a mother at the end of the day. She's a wife at the end of the day. And she just wanted to provide. And so she also said that she wanted to do what she was passionate about. And so she's passionate about helping people. And she believes that everybody should go after their passion. And I was like, man. It's the same story, different person, and you gotta tell the same story a hundred times. And so, fast forward to me and Regan. Well, first of all, you know how Chris Jenner's story goes. She's wealthy and she's created all these businesses for herself and her children. And But the thing that was, was at the beginning was there was a vision. She asked the kids, what did they want? What do you want to happen? And she pushed their passion. She helped them monetize their passions. Originally, it was a, it was a clothing store. And then the clothing store turned into a million other things. They want makeup, they want sunglasses, they want, you know, whatever. They monetized it all. And so one thing that I've been really conscious of is, is making sure that um, I'm taking aligned actions with my vision. I'm not limiting myself because I, I did something really stupid, y'all. I was like, I want to make six figures. And to me, that was the end. I didn't realize that I was saying that that was the end. But my whole thing was like, if I can make six figures. And so then it was like, once I hit it, I was like, oh, hell, I need multi-millions. And then I had to do like, then I had to do like, and still do the resistance and get through all the limiting beliefs of who, how, what I can make and what I'm actually able to do. And here's, here's what I say. I'm a six-figure failure. Because here's what I know for you, for myself, for anybody watching this, is that we need to just, we need to hold the vision for our blessings. We need to take the limits off of it. Okay, your vision needs to be so ridiculous, so big that it scares the crap out of you, right? And at the time, six figures was big for me, and it scared me. And then I realized that once I started to make it, I just kept myself, and I wanted, to, I just kept myself there, because I was like, oh, I did it. Okay, okay, okay. But in reality, I've blocked blessings. And what I do know is that the time that we see people having or the season that we see people having, it's really just the result of them doing the work and aligning with their vision. So what actions can you take today? What actions can you take today that align with where you say you want to go? My millionaire friends, my limitless friends, my friends who are diving into the possibility, my friends who are not looking around based on what they want, based on what they see. My friends who are faith movers, my friends who are leaders, authors, creators, speakers, what are you going to do today, tomorrow, and the rest of the time that aligns with what you say you want, where you say you want to go? I looked around this morning, and I'm like, wow, man, I manifest like a mother. And it's like not even manifest as in own. It's just I started saying, you know what, this is what I deserve. And here are the actions that align with that person. So even if I, I've always seen this as my backdrop before I ever knew how. And I just said, I know that's where I'm going. This was always me, this chick right here, always me. And so I started, the minute I, I had the vision, I started to walk that way, right? I started to make sure the little things that I did have aligned with this. And then one day you look up and boom, there it is. Because I started today to align my actions with where it was I say I wanted to go. Are y'all getting this? Are y'all getting this? Does this make sense? Does this make sense? It's hot out there. I had to come inside. It's hot. Mm -mm, it's too hot. So does this make sense? I got a suntan that quick. Jesus. Does this make sense, people? 
Tanisha, hands up. Hey, Ashley. Yes to commitment. Yes, yes. We just having this conversation with some friends. Nonconformist is my middle name. Yeah, man. Like, and here's the deal. We could take the limits off of yourself because what you think you can do, you can do greater. And I'm constantly checking myself going, wait, am I, am I playing too small? I'm playing too small. I'm, I keep saying, well, if I could just do this, then I'll be all right. Man, bump that. I want the world. Okay? The world. Okay? That's it. And I'm going to let God define that however he wants because it's aligned with his will. For me, whatever you call, whatever, whoever you serve. Like, it's just I want what he has for me because what he has for me will inspire everyone. And we'll help everyone get to their level of whatever. So let me take the limits off. Let me get out my small little pea sized brain. Right? And then let me and here's the deal. It doesn't mean anything other than like I knew the ocean would be my backdrop before it was. And then I just started to align myself there. I started to get around that ocean environment whenever I could. Some of y'all may require you to do something drastic. I got up and moved from Dallas to California, drove in my little car, sold everything that I thought I worked so hard for, had my nice house with the backyard and all of that. Was living the life, I thought. And it's like, oh, I thought I finally made it. And then I went, this isn't the vision that's in my mind. The vision in my mind has water, has all this. Okay, I need to go, I need to head west. What can I do? Well, I can head west, right? And so... I'm random. This is just fun. I'm just talking. But I want you guys to know that everything starts with your mind. And here's what irritates me um, with just, I just want everybody to get it. Like our mind controls everything. There's an internal thing that you need to be investing in. My life changed and it continues to change the more I pour into my internal. The more I pour into myself, I can be a bigger blessing. I'm going to say this again. The more I pour into myself, internally spiritually the more i remove limits the more i break down barriers the more i dress address my mess and not worry about the person next to me so many people worry about what all these rules when i was growing up there were so many rules you can't wear nails you can't wear makeup you can't wear a sleeveless shirt you can't do this and you can't do that because god will punish i had all these old stupid rules so I was so busy focused on these rules that the very person that I was then, that I am now, had the same visions, I got the same voice, I had the same inspiration, I was still motivated with all those rules. I'm the same person. I'm on fire. I was always on fire. But there were so many rules. I'm trying to follow all the rules, and I'm scared. And then I realized that those are other people's limitations. How many of you are trying to follow other people's limitations? I am here, and I'm living proof to tell you that if you get the vision, if you have a if you're in the shower and you just see like a glimpse of something and you go man one day that is your reality that is God showing you what is possible it is your job to tap in and the way that you do that you only everything around you will change when you internally change it and so here's the deal those people are so busy trying to buy this course and that course and this gadget and this program and this this website and then this thing over here and if I just get that backdrop then that's going to work. If I just get that camera, then that's it's going to make me be. If I just get that house, then I'm there. If I just get that car, if I just get that bank account number, if I just get this and that, I was one of those people. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Anybody know what the heck I am talking about? Where we make, we think that we will become this thing, this person, this force when we get that thing. Can somebody come on up in here, church on a Saturday? Am I the only one? And if I am, that's cool because I'll out myself. But I always predicated who I was based on some stuff around me. Well, once I make six figures, then I will be successful. Actually, I'm a six-figure failure. Hashtag that. Because if the test was, like Miles Monroe said, if the test was meant for you to make 100 and you made a 40, but because everybody around you in your environment is at a 30 or 20 or a 10 and you a 40, so you think you're successful, but the test and God meant for you to make a 100, but you only made a 40, you're only successful in your eyes, you're actually a failure because what God has for you was a 100. I'm trying to make the hundred. I'm trying to get what God's grade is. I'm not trying to be the highest in my crew. Okay? That makes me yes. I'm not trying to be the highest in my crew. I'm trying to be what God wants me to be. Because by me doing so, it blesses every single person that is in my environment that ever sees me. So how many of you guys want to get to that level? It requires you to literally constantly tap in. And it's a lifestyle. Tapping in is a lifestyle. 
Do you understand what I'm saying? People would always say your internal creates your external. And I was like, I get it, but I don't get it. No, if you think that you're only supposed to make a 40 and you're successful, but God has a hundred for you, but you but in your mind, you see 100, but you made a 40, so you're confused, and you're like, well, I guess I'm cool, because everybody around, I did better than them. Come on, somebody. That's why it's a lifestyle, because every time you do something, don't sit in it. Don't stop. Keep going. Keep going. You're supposed to be better, greater, better, greater, better, greater. It's your birthright. Some of y'all got kids. I got parents. I got family that I want to feed big and nice and luxurious. I got work to do, okay? We have work to do. We're all born to create. And whatever, you're, whatever you create, it could be a chair, okay? Some people think that artists um, are only musicians, not so. Artists are not just painters. Artists are not just writers. Whatever you create, we were all born to connect and create, period, point blank, period, point blank, right? And so you've got to be able to tap in. And it's not waiting for some moment to pop off. You're waiting for the time. The time is now, guys. The time is now. The time is now. I'm here to tell y'all. I'm here to tell y'all. This journey is so stressful for me. Emotional roller coaster. I want to be great. I know it's in there. I just need to manifest. Right. And the whole thing about manifesting is I think that sometimes, some, and that's very vulnerable, very good. That's a real emotion, right? The thing about manifesting is, guys, it, it's not, there's, like, I could say I manifested today. I've always seen myself surrounded by white roses and champagne and oceans and palm trees. So I manifested. But really, like, the manifestation is because I took aligned actions with my vision. Do y'all understand that? Do y'all understand that? Now, here's the deal. This is just a pinch of what Regan and I put together for you guys. And so it's already, we, we spent the day recording, we got a course ready, and it is a, the spiritual conversation. And I'm so passionate about it because everybody knocks the, that internal thing, and we think that it's some other stuff outside of us, and it is you. Michael Jackson decided, I will be X, Y, Z. What are you deciding? Michael Jackson said he was going to be like, I don't know what it was, Grammy Award winning, whatever it was, he got exactly that. I love that Chris Jenner said Kendall was like, I want to be a supermodel. This freaking girl is a supermodel. And she didn't get it because she's a Kardashian or Jenner. She got it because she set her mind to it. She practiced. She got the coach. She did the actual stuff that goes with it. She started taking aligned actions before she ever was. Before she ever was. Before she ever was. Before she ever was this supermodel that we know today, she began to align herself with that thing. Are you guys understanding what I'm saying? People think I'm over the top. Like I went out the other night with my little fur thing. They was like, people was like, who, what's happening? And I was just was like, I ain't even worried with y'all. They'll just have to understand. Uh, I'm like Jay-Z. Me and Regan, we say, you got to reintroduce yourself. That's the declaration. I am fill in the blank. You are it today. I've all, my mama has always said, girl, you have champagne dreams and a beer pocketbook. She used to always tell me that. And I used to always be like, no, I just have a champagne pocketbook. You may not see it yet, but it's here. And I'm going to align myself with the champagne, okay? Not the beer, because I'm a champagne chick. <laughs> like, do y'all understand Take on now. I'm not saying go buy a Bentley if you know you can't afford. Like I'm not saying go be whatever. Got to be smart. Now for some people, I've actually seen people who put themselves in that predicament and then they rise up because they're like, oh my god, now I got all this stuff I got to pay for. Hmm. That works too for some, but for most, not really. So if you're a crazy Scorpio, it'll work. <laughs> but listen, guys, you've got to be willing to align with your future with the thing that seems impossible. You've got to be able to align with it today. And I love what Regan says. And she's like, when you do that, she's like, time begins to bend. And you begin to call in these things. And then it happens and you go, oh, my God, it's so crazy. What I start saying is like, no, of course that happened. Because it's what I said. It's talk I'm talking about faith. That's making faith moves. Come on, y'all. Wow, yes, that's me. Follow all these rules. It keeps me from going where I want to go. Yeah, 
Everybody that taught me all those rules when I was growing up doing the same thing, talking about they still waiting on Jesus, and Jesus probably want to backhand upside the head everybody and say, stop this nonsense. It's nonsense. My favorite scripture, oh God, that you would bless me indeed. Oh God, that you would bless me. Because when I'm blessed, I can bless others. When God blesses me, because he only knows what's, I have no idea of the infinite abundance that is already available to me. I can't even fathom it. The ocean makes me look, and every single time I look at the water, I'm just, I'm in awe. I'm in love with God because it's unfathomable. Like, I could go get a some scientist who wants to like go to the bottom of the ocean and do that for a living. Have fun, bro. At the end of the day, no one can truly fathom the vastness of the ocean. You have an idea. You know you can't control it. It's beautiful and it's dangerous. It's all of these things that we can't even fathom. And I want you to know your abundance and your blessings are the same. But it is up to you to tap in and take off the limits. Take off the rules. Decide today that you are it, even though you don't know how. Own it. Now, even though you don't know how it'll happen, just own it and claim it and hold the space for it. Begin to work on you. You can only receive and manifest what you can hold. So if you have some limits, if you have some anger, some resentment, if you don't have a vision, if you haven't declared, if you haven't decided that you are these things because you're waiting for something outside of you, that's why it's not manifesting. I almost don't even like the word manifest because it puts people in this spiritual woo-woo magical box. And this is not outside of you. It is inside of you. It is inside of you. Come on, y'all. Y'all, Udi's comments are lit. Nikki says, I think we can all relate to what you... I'm just saying, I kept listening to everybody else. Exactly. Uh, top, where are you? Talk to my amen, sister. <laughs> amen, amen. Y'all, for real. Hashtag six-figure failure, right? Hey, say it. What's up, Taraya? Listen, you know what's amazing? Is that this morning when I woke up, someone from Saudi Arabia was sending me a message. Taraya is in Israel. People from Belgium, Barbados, all over the freaking world are sending me messages saying, oh, you're my mentor. And I'm like, oh. And all I'm doing is sharing my, I'm sharing y'all. This is real life. You will always get real life from me. If I mess up, my bad. If I inspire you, praise Jesus. All of that, you're going to get it. It's going to be 100. Like, that's just me, right? And so it's just cool because I'm passionate about what I'm talking about. And I'm telling y'all, this is real life. I don't like smoke and mirrors. I don't like people making stuff seem like it's unattainable or they're talking. I'm I'm not, you know, fancy. I ain't grow up fancy. So they weren't talking about manifesting when I was growing up. They weren't talking about all of this, these words, the secret and the law of attraction. None of those words made any sense to my black tail growing up, okay? So I'm gonna need the layman's terms of all of this stuff because I want to get it too. I don't want the secret to be a secret. <laughs> right and it took me forever to understand it that's all i'm saying i'm not knocking any of it i love it all i'm obsessed with it all because i finally get it but for so long i was just kind of like like i like the energy that's coming from me, but i don't really know what they're talking about and my mama said that's the devil so i gotta be careful because i ain't trying to sell my soul this is what i was thinking come on oh i'm the only one i'm the only one who thought that yes trying to make 100 because 99 won't do Yes, I got work to do. We all do. We've got to be working on our internal at all times. It is your job. You can bless your children. You can bless your family when you focus on you. For so many, for so many people, we're told to focus on everybody else. It makes you feel good because there's some other stuff. So because you focus on everybody else and then you just feel better about yourself. But at the end of the day, you trying to pour into other people broken, that ain't hot. What's hot is you pouring out, is me pouring out. And I'm, ooh, I'm, I'm like, man. I'm just like, wow, that's why I kept the live stream on. I was like, listen, this is your time because you created. Everything you see right now in your life, you've created, period. People say, what? So that means if I just got, you know, this bad thing just happened to me, I made it happen. No, listen, all of our actions give us our reality today. Point blank. Don't go be the some complicated pick one scenario. What I see today, my bank account, my skin, my nail polish, my relationships, what I see today is a result of my actions and my mentality. 
Because there was a moment where I thought that only rich people and other people, people who are like real, 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 real rich could go do certain things that I do now on a regular basis. There are some, so that's a result of my mentality. Once I broke that broke ass thought, then boom, I start doing what I thought only rich people could do. It's our mind. Okay, I'm done. I think I got it. I think y'all get it. <laughs> I want to be the artist of my life. You are. Here's the thing. That's the very example of I want to be. You are. You design your life. Come on, Ash, you say, before she ever was. Ironically, you've got nothing from this past election. Donald Trump said he was going to be the president. He spoke it. Boom. Whew. That just shows you anything is possible, child. Tariah says, LOL. Cynthia says, faith moves. Yes, faith moves. I love it. Yes, indeed. Every time I hear Cardi B, I'll be like, I make faith moves, not money moves. I make faith moves. Hey, I make faith moves. So listen. I'm down for, and the whole thing about manifestation, guys, I see some comments about that. Like, you're manifest, you manifest what you think, who you be, what your thoughts are. So, yeah, you can manifest what you think about and your actions, all of your thoughts and your actions together give you what you see, what you have manifested today. I have so many pictures in my phone of white roses piled together like the ones sitting outside. Like, it wasn't because of the magic and it happened, but I just surround myself, the person who got the roses was like, top he gets it like it's just because it's a way i aligned myself with the lifestyle of a million roses of champagne and the beach before it ever could happen in small ways how can you in small ways start to take aligned action that's what me and regan have put together for you guys and i want you guys i'm gonna put the link in here again everybody right now go join the group that i just put look in the comments even if you're watching the replay go join the group if you're watching on youtube i'm gonna put it in the description box Go join this Facebook group before Monday. Okay, y'all got today and tomorrow. Get y'all life together. It's about to be a new year. Don't wait till the new year to start assessing your life. Start now. Screw Black Friday. Screw Cyber Monday, okay? Y'all need to be worried about your internal because that's what helps you do. I, my life ain't predicated on nothing other than every single day. Not a holiday, not a special thing. It's you, like everything you have right now, you're in control of. And you can literally design your life eve is laughing once i broke that broke ass thought it was broke 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 thinking anything is possible straight up and this is not huffy puff wish and sink it's just there's a way to start to manifest or bring in all that you truly are but it all starts inside of you get in this free three-day challenge i'm telling y'all get into it y'all already know i just put the comment put the link again in the comments Get up into it and get your life together so you can just do what you want. Stop waiting on something to pop off. You pop off. Clink, clink. Let me get a clink, clink. If you guys are in, if you guys are in, if you're already in, let me see you. Let me see you on here. I love it. Renita says, yes, yes, aligned action. Come on now. I just updated my vision board. Align my action with my vision. Exactly. Some of y'all drinking water out of paper cups. If you have a champagne life, a paper cup is unacceptable, child. I'm just saying, small alignment. Like, that's it. Like, if I go to the nail shop and they don't put Swarovski, they put those little cheap crystals, I'll be like, er, pop, you cannot put those cheap. You have to put Swarovski. Aligned action, very small, very minute, whatever. Aligned. If I say I'm a beauty professional, I'm the best hairdresser in the world, but they don't know it yet, but every day I look like trash, am I aligned? If I say I'm one of the most sought after speakers, and I look like a little homeless person, am I aligned? And if I say I am, you know, the best makeup artist in the world, but on a day-to-day -day basis, everybody see me with no makeup, am I aligned? If I say that I'm the best wife every day, but every time my man step in the door, I got some a messy to say, you are, I'm nagging, am I aligned? If I say that I'm the best dentist ever, but my teeth jacked up, Am I aligned? If I say I'm the classiest diva ever, but I got a little odor that I just refuse to fix, am I aligned? If I say I'm the best painter and I only paint once a month, am I aligned? If I say I have the best housekeeping business ever, but I don't, you know, keep my own home clean and I don't go after new business because I feel like, you know, I'm doing too much and I don't know, am I aligned? If I say I'm going to help these people do this thing, but I never tell people what I do, am I aligned? Do you get what aligned action looks like? 
You've got to align today with where you say that you're going. And on that note, your girl is about to be out. Okay? Come on now. I just updated. I see you. Manifestation, thoughts, align, action. Exactly. Vision, declaration, okay, commitment, right, and massive action. Just created my brand stylist website. Been saying I would send speaking right done. Boom. Get it done. I see some clink clinks. I see some glasses. I see you guys. I see you guys. I love it. I love the emojis that make me so happy. Okay, Taraya just sent a request to join a group. Awesome. Send your request in, Torgano. Hey, Raymond Torgano. Come on. What's up, bro? We need to be doing a doggone uh, uh, duo on here. Look, happy birthday. Thank you so much, bro. Align with my purpose. Exactly. Are you aligned? Exactly. You have to tell people. Exactly. Wow, wow. Backwards. Yeah. Right. Work backwards. I'm already in it, and I did my 60-second video. Boom, I cannot wait to see all of your videos. Get in the group. Great concept. Am I aligned? Because most people aren't. It doesn't happen outside of you. Everything that I see now, I was always back in my broke days, on my abused, battered face, battered body days, okay? When somebody was trying to take my life, I still thought I was this chick, okay? So you got to be able to do it at every level. And don't be worried about what people... When I look back at the pictures, I'm like, ooh, I thought I really was popping. I was... For that level, you only receive what you have the capacity to hold. So if your mentality is broke, you're going to see broke. I really wish that we could, like the whole industry of the beauty industry, oh gosh. It's so, like this mentality of, ooh, that's too expensive. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Everything is a broke mentality. So if you only see broke, you ain't going to go too far. Come on now. Come on now. I want everybody to win. Whatever your industry is, it's time for you to win. It is your time. You don't have to do something outside of you. It starts inside of you. It starts inside of you. So Ryan says, got him. Marianelle says, hey, hey, love, vision, declaration. Yeah, I see you guys. I'm loving all the comments. I'm in. You only receive what you have the capacity to hold. What's up, Joy? I'm going to put the link here again. Y'all get into this group before Monday. Boom. I love you guys. I'll go live later. I just felt the spirit, and I just had to let y'all have it. What was on my mind? It, nothing is an accident. Everything is aligned. So take aligned actions, and even if it's the wrong action, because guess what? There's a lesson. There's something that you have. You have you ever? How many of you guys ever drove down the wrong street, walked down the wrong hall, and you realize? Man, I'm so glad I walked down this wrong way because then, boom, I saw this. If I hadn't took the wrong street, I wouldn't have noticed this. Anybody ever been there? Anybody ever been there where you went, I went the wrong way. You were bitching about it. You were like, oh, my God, I went the wrong way. And then you went, oh, my God, I went the wrong way. I'm excited that I went the wrong way because now I know this, right? And that's the way it works. So don't be so worried about what if it doesn't work. What will people think about me? What if I go the wrong way? The wrong way is the right way. As long as you know in your heart and you feel intuitively that it's aligned, do it. Do it, do it, do it. There's always a lesson. Do it, do it, do it. You only receive what you have the capacity to hold. Right. So anywho, guys, cheers. Thank you guys for all the birthday love. Thank you guys for um, being on this live stream and listening, and hanging out. Get in the Facebook group. It's a three-day challenge starts on Monday. Get your lives together. Three-day challenge starts on Monday. I'm putting it in the comments right now. Um, Demetri says, yes, I love listening to you. You're like my morning dose of yummy inspiration. Thank you, Mary. Marianelle, I don't want to mess your name up. Thank you so much, Joy. And Demetri says, yes. Cynthia says, love you too, Lakeisha. I love it, clink, clink, girl. I love it. So the comments there, I love you guys. I'm going to go have me some snacks and enjoy this resort, and I will see you guys later.